After I got to the Hall of Fame, it was time to leave. What do you know, I got stuck in a thunderstorm. So I got off an exit, put Dunkin' Donuts in my GPS. I said it was three miles away. Three miles away in 15 minutes. Didn't make much sense to me. I got off an exit. We're in Akron, Ohio. It's pouring on me. Finally. Got to a Dunkin'. Got my iced coffee. And after the 30 minutes that it took me to get there, the rainstorm subsided. Now, 30 minutes back to my hotel. Go back to sleep. Wake up in the morning. And make a decision. Am I go to Detroit? Or am I just go somewhere else? I mean, I already got the hotel booked, but at this point, it didn't really matter to me. I had such a good time in Cleveland, I kind of didn't want to leave. Monday, I'm on my way from Cleveland, Ohio, to Detroit, Michigan. I've got here a nice coffee. And I got here hot coffee. One to wake me up, one to cool me down. And it is just gorgeous in Cleveland. Very nice city. A lot of nice people. Very surprised. Now we're just off to uh, Detroit. should probably stop right there because my time in Plymouth Michigan was no walk in the park I mean the rain it must have followed me it was just raining there the whole night Monday so what I did was I decided to go online and sell my Detroit Tigers tickets I really wasn't feeling Detroit especially after Cleveland I mean how could you so I didn't even bother telling the front desk lady at the Days Inn that I wasn't going to come back. I decided I'll just sleep this night, go to Kmart a couple of times, buy some socks that didn't fit me, go back and return them to another one, and then, hey, I'll just drive straight up to where she said these old people were taking a bus to, some island up in northern Michigan. I figured maybe I could do this shipwreck cruise tour that I was reading about problem was the next day came around not only did my check engine light come back on but I must have snapped something in my car every time I went to go make a turn I heard a big pop pop 
See, the problem was I was driving a Golden Corral Monday night for I'll go get something to eat, and there wasn't anything really around. It started a downpour on me. So I had to go take a left into the driveway. Crank! Every time I try to take a left turn, pop, pop. So anyway, I got into the Golden Corral. It's pouring outside. There must have been a church of people inside, literally, a church. About 200 people, about 50, 60 kids. They're all running around, yelling, screaming. One of them almost ran into my steak knife. And I said, screw this, and I left. Got back to the hotel, went to bed. Woke up the next morning, said, yeah, I'm not going to stay here. So I jumped in the car. And off to paradise I went. After driving about five hours from Detroit, Michigan, I was going up to paradise. And what lay before me was the Mackinac Bridge. You're just a After getting off the Mackinac Bridge, I went to a rest stop and met the tour guide named Mike. I told him I was coming from Ann Arbor, and now I was headed up to Paradise, Michigan to see some of the shipwrecks that I've read about. He drew on a map 
the routes that I should take. Told me some places I should stop to eat. I said, hey man, I have to be in Chicago in a couple of days. He told me you should cancel your plans. There's a lot to do and see up here. I said, eh, I might be on a little time constraint. I'm going to check it up, then maybe head over to Green Bay tomorrow. He said it shouldn't be too bad if I stopped to Marquette. It would only be about a three and a half hour drive. So after I got up to Paradise, I went and I stopped at a nature park. Nature park to see a waterfall. Got out of the car and hiked the trail. Nothing special. Nothing special at all. So now after leaving the waterfall, I jumped back into my car. Just drove a little ways up. North. North. To see a shepherd. The Edmund Fitzgerald. So I get out of the car. The museum is closed at this time. So I couldn't go inside. But I walked the boardwalk. To overlook the water. For a little sign said Graveyard of the Great Lakes. I saw a lady tourist up there looking at me. She just said, you're going to freeze your knees off. See, I had shorts on. I didn't think the temperature to drop 30 degrees. Not from where I was, at least. I looked around, took a couple of panoramic pictures, looked down at my phone, and it said, Welcome to Canada. Welcome to Canada? And I got another message from my phone. It said it's not going to give me service anymore. So now I'm screwed. I have no idea where I am. No internet connection. My GPS can get me out. I'm in the middle of nowhere. No hotels are open. No hotels even around. A couple of vacancy motels, but they were in the woods somewhere and I didn't trust that. So I just drove and I drove. My phone finally flickering on and off the reception said the sunset was going to be at about 9.30. I didn't have too much time to work with. As you can see, it's 9 o'clock now. Little did I know, I just kept driving and driving and driving. Now this Solis Road, watching the sunset as I went. 9.30 came, 9.30 gone. What do you know, it's still bright out. Truly amazing, spectacular. The sunset, the beautiful sunset. Now it's 10 o'clock. And I'm still trooping along, the sun still cascading over the northern border. I just swallowed my pride and I kept going. I refused to stop. Not unless I saw some form of civilization around. How much further is Marquette? I kept saying to myself. How much further is Marquette? Two and a half, three hours drive from paradise? Oh, how I was so reluctant and relieved that the sun didn't go down. The landscape and the bet in the distance just kept me going. I knew I could. I knew I could. 1040. I'm making good time. I should be able to get to a hotel by 1130. And I just kept trooping along. Looking at the Great Lakes to my right. Looking for any signs of shipwrecks that I may have missed. Didn't suit too much. What I did see was this beautiful landscape. Just kept going and going in the distance. Set that cruise control on. And I finally, finally made Marquette. 11 o'clock at night, it's finally dark. The sun is set. Now I just had to make my hotel. Wake up in the morning, get ready for Green Bay.